Hello and welcome. My name is Marie Strauch. I am the educator with Your New School. Welcome to the world of Nail Alliance. Our mission statement is to provide the salon industry with all the tools needed to help make salon businesses even more successful with the latest and greatest in nail products, establish opportunity for learning through proper education and training courses domestically and internationally, create superiority within the industry as the go-to nail manufacturer for state-of-the-art products proven to perform to the best of standards while upholding the motto done right from the start and to understand the needs of the salon industry. As nail professionals ourselves, we have a clear understanding of the industry and the demand for the highest quality products and services possible, which is why quality has and will always be our number one priority. So who is Nail Alliance? We are the Gelish Soak Off Gels, Gelish Hard Gels, Morgan Taylor Nail Polish, Fair Luxury Manicure Pedicure Products, Nail Harmony, Prohesion, and more. Today's webinar is gonna focus on the Gelish Soak Off Gel Polishes. So first we're going to go through the Gelish Essentials. These are the products that you are going to need to perform a gel manicure or a gel polish application. I'm also going to talk a little bit about other products within the Soak Off line, which I call support products. You don't necessarily need them, but they are great to have on hand. So the first thing we're going to talk about is our pH bond. This is your nail dehydrator. It is used to remove any excess oil and moisture from the nail plate before any artificial nail service or in conjunction with your manicures and pedicure services prior to polish. The product does not contain any fragrance or dye that could leave a residue on the nail plate and interfere with adhesion. Next is Nourish, which is your cuticle oil. It is a highly enriched oil that has six highly enriched ingredients. It's going to rehydrate the skin surrounding the nail and the cuticle without causing any lifting or peeling of your artificial nail products. It does have a subtle invigorating scent. Some ingredients and those highly enriched ingredients are our sweet almond oil, which acts as an emollient, sesame seed oil, small molecules penetrate the skin very easily, sunflower seed oil penetrates the skin easily and conditions. Grapeseed oil is an antioxidant. It also contains vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, and aloe vera, which is really healing and refreshing. Next is our foundation. This is your Soak Off Base Gel. You don't need to use a primer when working with the Soak Off Gel polishes. So we use foundation gel. It helps to create an adhesive bond between the nail plate and the Soak Off Gel products. It does have multiple uses. We use this as our base coat for our Soak Off Gel polishes, as well as Structure Gel and Poly Gel. So your cure times will vary based on the light that you're using. If you're using the 545, it will cure in 20 seconds. If you're using the 18G, it will cure in five seconds. And if you're using a traditional UV light, it requires a one minute cure. Each bottle will give you about 70 to 90 full set applications. You want to use this product sparingly and it should not look glossy. You want to apply with force to the nail plate to secure proper adhesion. Next is the Top It Off. This is your Soak Off Gel Sealer or your top coat. It's going to provide a really nice high shine finish for your gel polishes or even your artificial nail services. It's no dulling and no peeling. The Gelish Top It Off is um, specifically designed to cure evenly with minimal shrinkage, stopping peeling from the nail and proper cure times assure no dulling. It also removes very quickly. Once the seal has been broken, you're gonna allow the polish to soak off for about 10 to 12 minutes and it should just roll right off the nail. It is non-yellowing. It utilizes the latest technologies in photo initiators to allow for complete curing in an LED light system. The LED lights completely cure your tap it off and eliminate yellowing of uncured photo initiators that's typically found in UV light curing. Your cure times vary based on the light that you're using. For the 545, it needs a 45 second cure. In the 18G, it's a 30 second cure. And in a UV lamp, it is a two minute cure. Each bottle will give you about 40 to 50 full set applications. We also have it available in matte. So the matte top coat has all the same benefits as the traditional top it off, um, just with a matte finish. You're not gonna see that matte finish until you remove the inhibition layer, both the traditional top it off and the mat have an inhibition layer that you will remove 
remove with your nail surface buns and a loop three wipe, and then you will see your matte finish. Next is structure gel. Structure gel is one of those support products that I was talking about earlier. Um, you don't need to have structure gel to perform a soak off gel service, but this is a great product to have on hand. This is a soak off builder gel. It is a thicker viscosity gel that will enhance the strength of the natural nail and create more durability. Um, it has multiple uses. We use structure gel to correct damaged nail plates by filling in ridges or demarcations to make the nail plate surface even. Um, it's also, you can build with it. So if you have a client who has chipped the tip of their, or the side of their fingernail, you can rebuild and create that enhancement with a nail form. So it does have multiple uses. It's not as strong as a hard gel or an acrylic, um, but to quick fix, it is a great product to have on hand. Um, it is a pot and brush application to give the technician the versatility necessary to repair the damaged nail plates or hide imperfections. Your cure times are 45 seconds in the 545, 30 seconds in your 18G, and two minutes in a UV lamp. Each jar will give you about 60 full set applications, and it will be applied like a traditional hard gel uh, with a string on, brush on, or ball on application. However, we now have it in a bottle form. So it's the same formula, that thicker viscosity gel, just in a bottle form, which is what I prefer. We do have it in three colors. So we have clear, translucent pink, and cover pink. Your cure times are the same. Each bottle will give you about 60 full set applications, and it's just an easy brush on application. So you brush it on like a polish, or you can use the brush like you would a hard gel and build an enhancement and strength with your structure gel. And onto our gel polish. So the original soak off and gel polish. It's a unique formula. The gelish soak off gel polishes utilize specially formulated soak off gel technology and specifically designed color pigments to create the ultimate in the soak off gel polishes. It has multiple uses. You can use them as a simple polish application. You can create accent nails. And my favorite, you can use the gel polish to do nail art um, applications. Only your imagination can dream of. So for excellent coverage, you do need two thin coats. Each coat needs to cure for 45 seconds in your 545, 30 seconds in your 18G, or two minutes in a UV light. Each bottle will give you about 25 to 30 full set applications, and that's due to the two coat coverage. So again, it's gonna perform like a gel, but it's applied like a polish. No shaking is needed with our polishes. Um, I do give my glitter polishes a shake or a roll between the palms of my hand and I don't mean the shimmer ones I'm talking about the ones that have the really thick chunks of glitter in them sometimes the weight of those glitter flecks will settle to the bottom of the bottle so I just want to redistribute them before I apply the polish to get an even application but other than that you don't have to shake our polishes now if you're somebody who enjoys shaking polishes by all means go right ahead it's not going to do anything to the polish Next is Vitagel. Vitagel is another one of those support products. You don't need to have it um, to perform your service, but it is a great product to have on hand. So Vitagel is a vitamin enriched soak off base coat. It has vitamins A, E, and B5 to help recondition and strengthen the nail. It is your base coat. Vitagel can be used as your base coat for both your soak off gel polishes, as well as nail lacquer. It will also help prolong the life of your nail lacquer. So no foundation gel is needed when you're using Vita Gel. So this will replace the foundation base coat. Now, if you are using it with regular lacquer, you will apply a thin coat of your Vita Gel, cure for the recommended cure time, remove the inhibition layer with a lint-free wipe and nail surface cleanse, and then proceed to two coats of your regular lacquer followed by your regular top coat. And this is just gonna help the regular polish lasts a little longer, but it's also going to give their natural nails some strength that they are needing. It comes in two different strengths. We've got Strengthen and Recovery. Strengthen is for natural nails needing a little more strength and support. Recovery is slightly thicker for very damaged thin nail plates. Now, if you are using this with regular lacquer, you're going to want to replace, soak it off and reapply every seven days. With the gel polish, you can go 14 days. And then your soak times are 45 seconds in the 545, 
30 seconds in your 18G or two minutes in a UV lamp. Each bottle will give you about 50 to 60 full sets. Next is Nail Surface Cleanse. This is our Nail Surface Cleanser and Sanitizer. It's non-drying, conditioning agents and solvents that help prevent drying of the skin surrounding the nail. It's multiple uses. We use this to cleanse the nail plate as well as remove any tacky surfaces from our gel nail applications. And we also use this to clean our gel brushes. Next is the Artificial Nail Remover. This is to soak off any of our soak off products. It's also non-drying, so it has those same conditioning agents in it so that it won't dry out the skin surrounding the nail. It is used to soak off our soak off gel polishes, our dip system, as well as our acrylic system. Um, depending on what you're soaking off, your soak times will vary. For the gel polish, you're gonna soak for about 10 to 12 minutes. For the Procasion liquid and powder acrylic system, you'll soak for about 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes and then for the dip system anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes um, depending on how many layers of dip that you performed and again it does have those conditioning agents so it's not going to dry out the skin surrounding the nail while it's soaking you are definitely going to need some wipe it off wipes these are our lint free they are uh, they're not going to leave any fibers left on the nail while you're using them they are 100 percent cotton it's going to give a soft, smooth surface. It's not going to scratch or dull any of our top coats. We use them to cleanse the nails, remove inhibition layers, as well as clean our gel or acrylic brushes. Next is Wrap It Off. Wrap It Off are our pretty cut foils that have a cotton pad attached to them. It is a thicker aluminum wrap um, with that cotton pad. You'll just saturate the cotton portion of the wrap place that over the nail, secure your foil, and let them soak. Each box has a hundred pre-cut foils in them. And then LED lights. So it's just information on LED lights. They are more efficient. Um, they produce less, or I'm sorry, they produce more light per watt than a traditional UV lamp. They are smaller and more compact for the technician to work with. They produce cool light with very little to no heat compared to that of a UV light to allow for more efficient types of gel products to be used. They last a lifetime. They can last up to 50,000 hours depending on condition of use with no maintenance and they do not diminish in power. Compared to that of a UV light, UV lights require replacement. Their bulbs need to be replaced every four to six months because they lose their charge and they're no longer going to cure your gel products. LED lights have focus light versus radiant light for more efficient curing. It's time saving, so with that quicker cure time, it's gonna speed up your salon application and save you about 10 to 15 minutes per appointment. And then LED stands for light emitting diode. It is a semiconductor of light that produces an electroluminescent light that is very efficient in use. Lights that can be used with the soak off gel polishes. First is our 545. This is a lightweight unit. It has 18 one watt LED bulbs. It's the perfect choice for students or consumers moving, um, customers moving over from your soak off gel polishes. It has a smaller layout. Um, it is wide enough to fit over the foot so you can use it for pedicures. It is a full hand cure so you don't have to do your thumb separate. It has a preset timer of 45 seconds but it will cure the foundation in 20 seconds. This lamp, however, is not recommended to be used with our heart gel system. So this is just for the soak off gel polishes. Next is the 18G. This light produces more light per watt than a traditional UV lamp with 18 two watt LED bulbs. Um, you don't have to do your thumb separate. It is a full hand cure. It also has a protective eye shield that closes when in use. There's a little padded armrest on top for your client to rest their hands and wrists comfortably while you're working. It's time saving. It will cure your foundation in five seconds and your gel polishes in 30 seconds. There's also at the bottom that pops off, it's magnetic. So it's great for sanitation purposes as well as for pedicure use. And then there is a rear display in the back that you can, it's a touch screen, so you can change your timing from five to 20 to 30 seconds. It's also motion censored, so when your client puts their hand in, it should automatically turn on. And then here's that removable tray on the bottom that pops off for sanitation between clients as well as for pedicures. 
We also have the 18G Comfort Cure or the 18G Plus and the 18G Unplugged. Both of these options um, have the Comfort Cure, which is a 60 second timing option. And then the Unplugged has a lithium battery and a fully charged battery will last eight to 10 hours. So this is cordless, so you can take it anywhere you wanna go. Um, again, it also has the 18 two watt LED bulbs. So it's just like the traditional 18G with the exception of one that is cordless and both of these have the comfort cure option. So the differences between the comfort cure and the 18G, there really is no difference other than the fact that one of them is battery operated. So the 18G unplugged is battery powered curing. Um, the logo on the 18G Unplugged changes colors based on the power level of your battery. It's a go anywhere, so it's rechargeable. Um, it has a built-in handle, so it's easy for carrying. And then again, both of these lamps, just like the original 18G, have 18 2-watt LED bulbs, so it is a 36-watt total for high-performance curing. They're both motion active sensors when they turn on. Um, the 60 second option on both of these lamps, this is the comfort cure. This um, mitigates heat spikes. So with that longer cure time, you're not gonna get that heat spike that some clients experience when they are curing gel products. It's a high intensity diamond reflector for even curing. It has the same eye shield, the removable tray that is magnetic. It's a full hand cure, both of them are. They both have the preset cure times, um, plus an on and off button. It has ergonomic design and all of our lamps are acetone resistant finish. And then again, these can last up to 50,000 hours of continuous use. So moving on to our techniques. So your color application. When applying a color coating to the nail, either lacquer or gel polish, following Few simple steps and tips can make a big difference in your professional salon service. It allows you to work quicker and neater with more precision. So some application tips that you want to consider. So don't overload or underload your brush. Making sure you have enough product on your brush is the first step to success. Too much product and you're going to lose control. Too little product and you won't be able to coat evenly and thoroughly. Achieving this happy medium takes practice as every nail you do will need different amounts. Always remember that it's easier to pull off any excess during your application than it is to go back in and reapply. Understanding consistency. Every lacquer and gel polish will have a difference in consistency, not just between brands due to the difference in the formula, but also between colors within the same brand due to the different amounts and types of pigment that was used to create that specific color. And then your application, you want to float versus scrape. So ideally, with the Gelish Soak Up Gel Polish and Lacquer, should be applied with a floating rather than a scraping technique. And what we mean is you want to make sure that you have enough product on your brush that you can just float and glide the color into place, giving a nice, thin, even application. You don't want to use too little on your brush and try to scrape and pull the product into place. Overworking the product. Overworking the product can cause different problems depending on if you are using gel polish or regular lacquer. With lacquer, as you begin to apply the coating, it's gonna to begin to dry. Continuously brushing over this layer after you've applied will begin to pull and scrape the other freshly applied product, leaving a sticky mess and an uneven surface that is pretty much impossible to make smooth. Overworking on your second coat of polish will also disrupt the previously applied air dried layer, this time possibly leaving unnecessary streaks and brush strokes in your finished application. Similar things can happen with gel polish. Um, gel polish contains solvents to aid in the application of the product. Once this solvent has evaporated during the application, it does leave a sticky layer of gel product it's really very easy to disturb and remove if you try to scrape the product into place. Overworking gelish will also increase the risk of applying the product too thick. And working quickly. So applying the product quickly is, will not just increase speed of application, it can also increase the accuracy of your application. 
when you work slowly, you have more chance of shaking or moving unnecessarily. This is an important factor when painting near the cuticle line, the nail grooves, and especially important when applying the white for your French applications. Working quickly also helps decrease the possibilities of overworking the product, the possibility of skin contact, and the possibility of shrinkage. Now, shrinkage is a possibility with any gel polish application if suggested application steps are not followed. With the Gelish Soak Off Gel Polish, some key points to remember for success is to do a dry brush foundation. When your foundation has cured, it leaves a smooth inhibition layer on the surface. This layer of uncured foundation leaves a, the surface slick and slippery. If we apply straight onto the inhibition layer, there will be more chance of the uncured product moving when we put it under the light. So doing a dry brush will turn that slick, slippery surface into a textured surface, able to grip the gel polish during application. Next is don't apply your gel polish too thin. Yes, we want a thin application um, to achieve a complete cure, but applying the product too thin can also cause its own set of problems. Applying too thin could increase your chances of shrinkage because there isn't enough product on the nail to hold the product in place while curing. And then you also don't want to apply it too thick. So on the other end of the spectrum, applying gelish too thick will definitely eliminate the possibility of shrinkage, but it will cause its own set of problems. UV curing and UV rays can only penetrate so far into the product. So applying it too thick will cause improper cure of the product and could lead to surface wrinkling. This will also increase the risk of product pooling into the sidewalls and cuticle line before curing, increasing the time of the service due to extra cleanup needed and increasing the risk of any overexposure to uncured oligomers. If you do get wrinkling of the nail, you do have to soak it off or file it off and start over. It's not as easy as it is to fix uh, as regular lacquer. So your prep steps are super important when performing a gel manicure. You want to make sure you're following the proper preparation steps. So you want to make sure that your hands are sanitized and your client's hands and nails are sanitized. You're going to push back the epinicum and clean the surrounding nail plate of any excess cuticle. Shape the nail using your wood file. You'll then use your 180 buffer and you'll use the 180 side to gently remove the surface shine off of their nail. You'll cleanse the nail with your nail surface cleanse and a lint-free wipe. You'll further dehydrate the nail with your pH bond. And now you're ready to apply your foundation. You wanna apply the foundation base coat onto the entire surface of the nail. You really want this layer to be thin. You don't wanna overuse this product and you really wanna massage it into that nail plate. Make sure that you cap your free edge and then cure for the recommended cure time based on the light that you're using. Once it's cured, you're gonna remove the tacky surface with a clean, dry, gentle brush with no cleanser on it. You're just gonna wipe the surface of the nail with a brush. Now you're ready for your color coating. So with your gel polish of choice, you'll apply a thin application from cuticle to free edge. Be sure to seal the edges of the nails, clean the surrounding nail by the cuticle and the nail group, make sure it's not pooling, and then cure for the recommended cure time based on the light that you are using. Once that first layer is cured, you're ready for your second application of color. You'll apply a thin application from cuticle to free edge. Make sure that you clean up the cuticle and nail groove area and cap your free edge. Cure for the recommended cure time. And then finish with your choice of top coats, whether it is the traditional or the matte. Always making sure to clean up around the cuticle and the nail groove and then cure for the recommended cure time based on the light that you're using. Once your top coat has cured, you'll use a lint-free wipe with some nail surface cleanse to remove the inhibition layer and then proceed with your nourishing oil and finishing steps. For your French application, you're going to follow your same prep steps and then after you've prepped the nail, applied your foundation base coat, you're ready for your pink. Now French there are many different ways to apply French. This is just one way. So choosing your choice of pinks, or you can even use clear, 
you'll apply a thin application on the entire nail here for the recommended time based on the light that you're using. If you want to do a second mm -hmm. coat of your pink, by all means, do a second coat. If you're satisfied with one coat, now you're ready for your white. You'll apply your white to the free edge. Clean up your smile line. Make sure you cap your free edge and then cure for the recommended cure time. If you want to do a second coat of white, feel free to do a second coat. And then of course, make sure that you're curing each coat for the recommended cure time. And then finish with your choice of top mm -hmm. coats. Allow the top coat to cure. And once it's cured, you'll remove the inhibition layer with your nail surface cleanse and a lint-free wipe. And then apply nourish oil to the surrounding nail. To remove the gel polish. So you want to use your 180 grit file or the 100 side of your 100 180 grit buffer. You're gently going to remove the surface shine off of the surface of the nail. This is called breaking the seal. If you want, you can apply a small amount of nourishing cuticle oil to the skin surrounding the nail prior to soaking. You're going to saturate the cotton portion of your rapid offs with your artificial nail remover. Place the cotton portion over the nail and secure your foil and let them sit for about 10 to 12 minutes. If you did apply structure gel, um, which is the builder gel, the soak off builder gel, you are going to want to soak a little longer. I recommend 15 to possibly 20 minutes, depending on how thick of an application you did. And then you're going to just let that soak. You'll check the nail, open the foil. It should look like it's flaking or rolling off of the nail. You can use a cuticle pusher to help get the product off. If the product is not coming off easily, do not force it off. This is what's going to cause damage to the nail. Um, just rewrap it and let it sit a little longer. Once it's completely removed, you'll gently buff the surface of the nail with some nail surface cleanse and a lint-free wipe to remove the dust and then apply nourishing oil and either proceed to regular manicure or if they are going to do another gel application, don't apply the cuticle oil and proceed to another dry manicure. For more information on Nail Alliance products, you would contact the count executives at your new school at 773-445-6956. And for future webinars, you would contact myself at mariess at yournewschool.com. I'm gonna flip my camera on and we will do a standard gel polish application. All right, let's get this camera focused a little more. All right, so this is our 2020 summer collection. This is our MTV collection. Um, so I will, well, maybe we'll just do all of these colors. I haven't decided yet, but we will do that. Let's move these out of the way. So we'll have, you're going to need your pH bond, your foundation base coat, your top it off top coat, and then finishing, we're going to finish with our nourish cuticle oil. So the first thing you want to do after you have sanitized your hands and your client's hands, you want to perform a dry manicure using your cuticle pusher that has the little buffing pads on there. We're going to push back the cuticles. This nail's already been prepped. So I like to use my 180 400 and I use the 400 side, which is the softer side to file and shape the natural nail. And then using our 100 180 buffer, we're just gonna buff the surface of the nail to remove that surface shine. Container and then I just refill a small spray bottle. It just helps and makes it easier for dispensing. So you'll cleanse the nail, remove the dust. This is also going to help to dehydrate and remove any surface oils. 
and then we are going to further dehydrate with our pH bomb. And you'll see the pH bond has tiny bristles. All of our products with tiny bristles is a great indication that you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. So now we are on to our foundation base coat. And again, this product has a tiny little brush. So that's a good indication that you don't need to use a lot. So when I'm doing a full hand application, when I apply my foundation, I start in the midsection of the nail and I'm gonna fan out this brush to get those bristles fanned out. And I'm just gonna massage this and shimmy the tips of these bristles right to the cuticle. And I wanna be a hairline away from the cuticle. And I'm really pushing down on my brush and getting this product onto the nail. And then I'm gonna rotate my brush the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to fan out my brush and I'm going to shimmy those bristles, the tips of the bristles near the cuticle. I'm really going to massage a very thin application into the nail. Really, 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 really thin. You don't want a lot. I'm going to rotate my brush, move on to the next finger, starting in the midsection of the nail, shimmy, shimmy my way to, towards that cuticle really hairline away from the nail groove and again you want this application really really thin rotate my brush again and the reason why I'm rotating my brush and if you notice I did not dip back into my bottle once this was enough and actually I have enough for the thumb and possibly the other hand you want to use this product very sparingly. And the reason why I rotate my brush is when I'm fanning out those bristles, it's pushing the gel base coat to the surface of the brush. And that's gonna be the product I use for the next nail. And then I just keep rotating. So really, really make sure that you are using this product sparingly. Overusing the foundation is going to create lifting because you have too much product on the brush. So I'm going to use my traditional 18G. I'm going to give that a five second cure because the foundation only needs five seconds. And then just using a clean gel brush, nothing fancy. This is all, it's just a dry brush. And I'm just going to go in and wipe the surface of the nail just to get that uncured foundation I've now created a textured surface so now my polish will adhere um, so what colors I've got four nails I definitely want to do the red the baby blue the purple and I think maybe I want to do, let's do the hot pink the brighter pink and then they have a softer pink and a soft peachy kind of color. So all of these colors have this beautiful um, gold shimmer to them. So each of these colors in this collection has just this beautiful shimmery gold to it. Um, so it's, it's just stunning. I love this collection. So when you're polishing, I'm scraping one side and leaving the other side with polish. I'm not gonna push down on my bristles like I did with my foundation. You can push down slightly, but you just want to do a light, thin application and just glide the product into place. I'm going to cap my free edge, grab the pink, again I'm just going to scrape one side for a nail this length and leave the product on the other. I'm not really fanning out the bristles too much. I just want to gently glide the product into place. Cap your free edge. 
want to be a hairline away from the cuticle, hairline away from the nail groove, cap the free edge. Now, if you did get anywhere, if you did get on the cuticle or on the skin surrounding the cuticle or in the nail groove, make sure that you clean that up before you place it into the lamp. Nice thin application. And now we'll give this a 30 second cure. our second coat. Grab our purple. So the purple is called ultimate tape or is it ultimate mixed tape. is called Total Request Red, which this red, I mean, it's a bright red, but I think it would be beautiful even for Christmas with all, all that gold shimmer that's in there. It truly really is a stunning red. And always remember to cap your free edge. And then the teal is Electric Remix. Um, this kind of peachy one is called Super Fandom. In the jar, it looks like it would be like a beige, but it really is because of the gold shimmer. It makes it look more like peach. It's a very, very pale peach. It's so pretty. I actually have this one on prior to the color I have on now. And then this other pink is called Show Up and Blow Up, which is just a lighter baby pink with that same gold shimmer in it. finish with our top it off top coat. Always remember to cap your free edge. Always remember to clean up around your cuticle and your nail grooves to make sure there's no pooling. this is curing, I do want to show you what wrinkling of gel polish looks like and what shrinkage looks like. So wrinkling. Wrinkling is where if the polish is applied too thick, you get this wrinkle. The polish, the surface cures, but the gel underneath is not cured and it creates this wrinkled surface and it looks, it feels textured. Um, this has been, I've done this many, many months ago, so it is fully cured by now. Um, but if this happens, you do need to file this off and start over. Now shrinkage, that was a little more difficult for me. I could not recreate shrinkage. I tried, so I kind of mocked it. So with this nail, 
um, after I applied the polish, I basically took my finger and just wiped around the free edge. But this is what shrinkage kind of looks like. It, the polish doesn't stay on the free edge. It just looks like it's pulling away. And it always looks like every time it comes out of the light, it looks like the tips of the nail or even the nail groove was not polished. And that's what shrinkage looks like. So again, both of these, if that happens, um, shrinkage, definitely do the dry brush. That will help to eliminate that. And then the wrinkling of the nail, you just really want to make sure that you're doing two thin coats and that you're not applying it too thick. So now we are going to remove the tacky layer of our top coat. And we will finish with our nourishing oil. Massage that in and then proceed to your finishing steps. Typically when I am doing a gel manicure, I do all of my massaging after I've polished um, that way because I know I'm not going to smudge the polish and I'm not putting any excess oil into the surface of their nails prior to polishing. So we we'll get nice longevity out of our gel manicure. So here we have it. We have our newest collection. This is the Summer 2020 MTV collection, Live Out Loud. And we have the purple, again, is the ultimate tape mix, or, I'm sorry, ultimate mix tape. The brighter pink is Live Out Loud. The red is Total Request Red. The teal is Electric Remix. And then the other two colors, which I did not put on, was Show Up and Glow Up, which is the lighter pink, and Super Fandom, which is the, you know, I call it more of a peach, but it is a very shimmery neutral. So thank you guys so much for spending time with me this afternoon on today's webinar. For more information again on Nail Alliance products, be sure to contact the account executives at your new school at 773-445-6956. And then for future webinars, you would contact myself at marie.s at yournewschool.com. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.